So I think the key things were um, kind of a lifetime of dealing with uh, not feeling good enough, not feeling like I had the tools to kind of make good decisions. A lot of times second guessing my decision, definitely feeling overwhelmed. There was always too much to do. I couldn't enjoy spending time with my family. Hey, Michelle, I am so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. You have just had such a um, impressive transformation uh, through joyful and present just in, you know, overcoming perfectionism and overwhelm. Um, let's, first of all, just the congratulations, because that's a result of your work and your consistency and how you've shown up and you have really been a rock star in that. So thank you for being here and thank you for participating. It's just been a joy having you. Thank you. Well, let's rewind a little bit. Can you um, just give us a little bit of background kind of on some of the, you know, where you found yourself or what what are some of the challenges you were facing before we met? Like, what was that like for you? So I think the key things were um, kind of a lifetime of dealing with uh, not feeling good enough, not feeling like I had the tools to kind of make good decisions. A lot of times second guessing my decision, definitely feeling overwhelmed. There was always too much to do. I couldn't enjoy spending time with my family um, and be really present, um, watching movies, anything that didn't feel productive to me really um, felt I felt this internal struggle and surely my family felt that too, that I couldn't enjoy them. And um, I really knew that something was holding me back and I did definitely didn't know, you know, how to put my finger on that. I um, <clears throat> had a pretty serious health diagnosis about 10 years ago um, and that really kind of took everything to a new level of I need to figure something out because, you know, although I didn't feel like it was my fault that I got sick, I knew that I was creating, I had unhealthy patterns in my life, just emotionally, how reactive I was, especially to kids, you know, any frustration or anger I had kind of seeping onto them. And so, um, Really, I spent a lot of years pursuing solutions, all different kinds of self-help solutions, podcasts, and came across some really great things. And um, uh, as a believer, I have had the Lord provide really great support system for me over the years in friends, but I found myself feeling like I was relying on those people rather than relying on the Lord to kind of move forward in my life. And I didn't know how to kind of get out of that. And so those were kind of a lot of the key kind of issues. The overwhelm was just ongoing, like talking, to, you know, just so upset sometimes that there was just always too much to do and never enough, never enough. Nothing was enough, <laughs> not enough time, not enough money to maybe hire help or whatever. And um, little did I know, really a ton of that was perspective shifts, um, but I did not know how to get there at the time. Okay, thank you for sharing that. Can you take me back to kind of like a moment? Where, cause, I mean, for first of all, kudos to you for being the kind of person that had been working on it and being intentional about, you know, doing the right things. Can you take me back to like maybe a moment where, if you remember, like that you decided you needed to do something different? I think it was really some very difficult parenting moments where I knew that my reactivity to my children and the way that I was um, kind of out of control, honestly, uh, I felt very shameful about it. I would always recognize it after the fact and want to do better in the future, but just those patterns were so ingrained. And, um, and I felt like it was a lot of beating myself up. Like as a believer, I should know better. I should do better. Um, you know, with showing, living out the fruits of the spirit in my life, 
And um, I think I knew that this was going to be an ongoing thing I would have to deal with on a daily basis. And it was like, I need to really make some serious change here, <laughs> you know, to not do damage to my relationship with my kids, with my teenagers. I know relationships are super important to you. What was it? Um, do you remember why you did choose Joyful and Present? What, or if you almost didn't join, what hesitations did you have? Like the um, watching the webinar, I knew that it was a, you know pretty accurate to what all of the things I was dealing with, and I knew um, just a little bit. I had pursued some other solutions that were kind of more like pieces and parts of, um, you know, your, what your program offers, but not the underlying pieces of, um, really learning how to calm on a physical level. And so, um, hearing the webinar, I was like, I have to at least investigate this. And I knew, you know, um, when I talked to you, it was like, I knew that I needed to do it. And it was, I, the only hesitation I had in my mind was the cost. And, um, it was interesting because it was, uh, I had a really frank conversation with my husband and he's like, if you think, you know, this is what you need to do, then I want you to decide, you know, and make that decision. And so, um, I am so glad I did. I am too. I'm so glad you did. Okay. So let's talk about results. Like, what do you see in yourself that's different now as opposed to before? 100% like, instead of feeling this kind of sense of like, underneath the surface scrambling um, emotionally, that is like, way down, you know, where it's like, there are still, I still encounter difficult situations and emotions like everyone else, but I feel equipped with tools to know what to do. And that it's like, almost like having an internal coach, you know, rather than having to rely on someone else, it's like, have the information, the understanding, and the tools to implement, to um, really be able to kind of disentangle my thinking from how I feel. And uh, that was not available to me, <laughs> available to me on any level before. And so um, it's, that has kind of, um, you know, it's a central thing that these spokes of the wheel kind of extend to every area of life, whether parenting, r new habits I want to establish, just how I feel about uh, difficult conflict, you know, uh, conversations with my husband or friendships, so many different areas that it extends to. And on top of that, even physical, um, you know, health challenges, pain, things like that, I've been able to utilize these tools to alleviate things that where before it was just like, you know, kind of oh, I got to just ride this out, you know? And so just feeling empowered with tools to do something on my own. I love, I love hearing that, Michelle. And I remember when we met making, telling you like, I, I don't make any like health related claims, but um, nervous system regulation really does influence so much of our health. So I'm I'm glad you've noticed that, like being able to use that to, to help you in that way. So you, you've just been a delight. So if, if you were to say like, is there anything in, in particular, not in terms of like tools or strategies, but like what parts of the program do you feel like really were helpful to you in being able to get that, you know, helping you get that success? And, um, yeah, just if you can just like tell us like what what resources in the program, like what aspects of the program, not necessarily the specific tools, because I know there's a lot and people wouldn't understand what, you know, what they are without having been through it, but like what the structure of the program, like, why do you think that it's been a structure that you've been able to be really successful in? That's a good question. For me, I know the group aspect of the program is 
unbelievably helpful. It's such a caring group of women, you know, that are, um, we're all kind of on the same journey and um, kind of just at different spots on the journey. And everyone's very supportive, um, celebrating each other's wins. Even when, you know, I'm at home on my own, dealing with something that's difficult, it's like, just knowing that there's that kind of support system that I'm going to check back in with and be able to share like, oh, this happened and this is how I would have handled it. And this is how I'm handling it now. That tip for me personally, I'm very relational. And so that has been a huge aspect. The training on your brain, how your, your body processes emotion or stores emotion, um, that also like I'm a learner and I love, you know, having the kind of insight and understanding about how the things work to really support, you know, me being diligent with the information, but yeah, then, um, the calming, the body calming, um, processes, um, you know, uh, sometimes it's like, you can know intellectually what to do, but until you have community and a process that kind of helps keep you accountable to doing the things. Um, it can be easy to not implement things that are really helpful in, on a consistent basis over the long term. And yeah, there's, I don't know if you want me to get into talking about any specifics, but like things like guided meditations, you know, it's really helpful to kind of get you started to kind of learn the process. So, and great job, you know, to you for being so consistent, because that really does, you know, make a huge difference as you're developing new neural pathways and something. So what would you, what advice would you give other, you know, women who might be like you perfectionistic and just kind of the, you know, always doers, overachievers and feeling overwhelmed by that? What advice would you give to them who are wanting to really feel more emotionally empowered and, you know, healthy on the inside and be able to, you know, regulate their emotions and calm their stress response? Like what advice would you have for them? So it's not something that is easily done on your own. I definitely recommend this particular program. I haven't found anything like it um, for the you know, education, the support, and the, the ability to practice and check back in um, on what you're doing. It's just invaluable. I mean, it's transformational, um, you know, in ways that even, you know, my family can perceive that I'm different. And I think the main thing would be, you know, being willing to carve out the, the time, which isn't much. <laughs> And the, just the diligence to stick with it, not in a perfectionistic way, but in a like doing some, a little something every day related to it really is a key and, um, you know, perspective. Our perspective is, I mean, nearly 100% of the battle and it really helps to have the support and the guidance to help make that shift, being able to see things differently so that you can actually feel different. Yeah, I think that's, that is so key, like just, you know, doing the things and the consistency and, and shifting all that. And you've done great at that. You know, I know you had mentioned before that you had tried a lot of other things. And I think, you know, maybe like, what would you say to someone who's skeptical about joyful and present, either because maybe they've tried a lot of other things, or because they're like, you know, understandably, at, people might be skeptical about things they find on Facebook or social media. Like, what would you just say to someone who had natural skepticism? That's a great question. I kind of thought it was like even myself to find something through a Facebook ad. Like I was just wasn't sure, but um, I think, let's see. The difference is that you can find pieces and parts of things, um, you know, on your own to definitely, um, help you, you know, create new habits or new ways of thinking. But the difference here is that it's a complete kind of strategy with support. Like I just 
you know, looking for 10 years, I mean, that's a long time. And I looked at all different sorts of things. I don't know how to describe exactly um, because it's such a um, big deal, but um, it's so worth it because it's not just like the three months, you know, that you're getting the benefit of doing the program. It's like setting you up to be able to practice these things and work these things out on an ongoing basis for the rest of your life. So it's like, it's so worth it. Oh, I, I love hearing that. And I'm so, I hate that you look for 10 years, but I'm so glad you landed here. I'm so thankful yeah. to have gotten to work with you and, and um, you've been a blessing to us too. So anything else that you would add that, to wrap up, anything else that maybe I haven't asked or that you think is important to share? Well, I got, I did get to talk about some of the difficulties in parenting, but the flip side has been like such a richer experience with my family and with my kids, like actually spending like quality time and enjoying it is such a far cry from anything else. Able to do. And it's like, just, these are key years with my kids. And so I feel so grateful to have been able to, um, you know, make some of these shifts and changes while they're here and I get to like really enjoy them. There's no kind of price tag I can put on that, you know? And so um, that that's probably one of the key. Well, thanks, Michelle. I'm so super proud of you. You've, you've done amazing. So thank you. Super proud of you. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Okay, let me stop. Thanks for sharing all that, Michelle. I yeah. Can't... Here it is on my screen. There we go. It's so hard because there's so many things, you know, to like think of and I want to say them all. So I'm like trying to not get, you know, um, overthink it and stuff. But anyway, you've done great. And the lady, you've been such a blessing to other people in the group too, just by what you've shared and how you've shown up for you. But, you know, I think that that's been a huge benefit to other women in the program so I really appreciate just what you've brought through you know your own journey how you've been able to encourage and inspire others too so you really get the credit for your results because you know only like you know we can only each take responsibility for once we have the information and how we implement it and to our own lives so like I should help you but you get so much credit for being that kind of person because yeah yeah it's definitely the group aspect you know like I mentioned it's like my heart's desire to support other people too so it's like it's so like valuable to me to be able to share like hey you're and honestly the neatest thing is to watch new people come in and watch them go through this exact same problem and it's like they, the, these little lights turn on for them along the way. That is so neat to be like, wow, this really works for just any, you know, any woman could benefit from this, right? It's like so interesting. So anyway. I do too. 